So they're all things of that nature. Thank you. Yeah, Mike, have a comment? Uh, yeah, uh, I, uh, I can't find um, a strategic plan. I looked thoroughly in the uh, SMH uh, website, smh.com, and you can find things in there if you've got time, okay? But I, I, I believe that the strategic plan is a plan that's done in a secret meeting that they call the quality meeting, okay? Because I, I don't see anything that is that is public on that, and maybe somebody can correct me on it, okay? Temporary millage plan, okay? That is, what is temporary about anything in government? And that's what we're talking about, a government there. And I believe the statement may possibly be not true. Um, the millage rate is 1.08. It was 0.037, you know, back in the uh, early 2000s. Uh, and I, I think we voted on it, not this year, but with a year's notice, I believe the board can raise that another 85% because the cap on it is 2%, okay? And if somebody can correct me on that because I'm not, you know, a rocket scientist, okay? Charity care, when they throw out a number that's $10 million charity care, that's not real cost, okay? That's retail cost, okay? And they can raise the millage rate, I believe. Thank you. Okay, um, I The only thing I will throw out is for the indigent care, and I believe research this and with pretty good facts, it is a real cost. I mean, one thing you gotta look at, and one of the great things this system does, where we are taking care of, there's 58,000 uninsured folks in Sarasota County, approximately. 10 million a month, approximately, in cost, hard cost, where you've got uh, 40 million, you know, 3.6 million a month in uh, in taxes. That means the the efficiency and the operations of this hospital system and the revenue producing of the other parts of the hospital system are covering those extra costs of the indigent care. And the one thing also, I'll just comment on Bob's about having the outpatient um, centers. You know, one of the things we've got to look at, and this is forward thinking. This is part of the strategic plan that the hospital is doing. It's got to continue to do it. Believe me, living on Longboat. Don't talk to anybody about urgent care because we don't have anything out there and everyone's complaining about it. Don't talk to our, our town commissioners. But when you talk about the, the clinics, getting to stitched up, I'll just pick an example. Three stitches, you get it done in a clinic, it costs 186 dollars You go to the emergency room at the main campus, it's $1,350 approximately. So it's a strategic of continuing to build the centers around the county. And uh, but I, you know, and that's enough. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions? Yes. Is there anybody running for the hospital board that supports this private hospital chain? <laughs> no, I never, never no. will. No. I, I, I have put out a statement, and I'll stay okay. here if anybody Sorry. wants me to give them more information. I didn't bring much because I was told not to. Um, the point being is. Um, if we don't get our finances in order, as others claim that we do, okay, the we will not have the choice, okay. We have increased a great deal, of, great deal of debt with uh, the new I call it Gwen's Palace down by the hospital, the new building there too. Um, if we have our finances in order, we're, you know, we'll be all right. But it may become necessary to have parts of bits and pieces of the, of the hospital sold off in order to maintain that, that community hospital attitude. And you take these new uh, centers that they're doing, one right up the road from you here, if you do a financial analysis of each one of those, okay, a truthful, honest performer, eight out of 10 of them are money losers, some of them big time money losers with with your tax dollars. So it's up to your tax dollars. That last statement is, no, let me be untrue. Let me just set, let me just set the, let me just set the record straight. Uh, please, thank you, I'm sorry, I, I, it's late. First of all, it's a hospital system. And what we said was, what we bring to the community is a hospital system where the very profitable things 
pay for the other services that you demand. You having the, as he says, clinics out into the community. Yeah, they do not pay for themselves right off the bat. But urgent care does, and that supports the other things. Otherwise, if we were a completely for-profit, the utility business I come out of, the business I run myself, you would make different decisions because your shareholders want the money. What we do is we take the, we're, we are budgeting this year a 5% return. We take that money and plow it back into the community to provide the services. The last piece I want to mention about financial health and this debt we took on. We've had two rating agencies who come in and have reaffirmed our barn rating as being an A rating. They're the independent people that we as board members rely on to make sure our finances are sound and solid. Keep in mind, the taxpayers' dollars only pay for 28 days' worth of, rep of our expenses. Everything else comes from the revenue we produce and the profits that we make and that we plow into the system. So, yeah, maybe the sky is falling, but I don't see it as a new board member who brings a business approach to this thing. I have no ax to grind, I'm a volunteer. And I look at it and I said, listen, this place is world-class medicine and I'm putting some of my money in as a donation to make it continue going. Dr. Trump, I gotta tell you this one more thing. One more thing. And I'll, I'll say it quickly. We must remain a not-for-profit hospital. The for-profit hospitals make their decisions with one simple question. Does it make money? If it makes money, they do it. If it doesn't make money, they don't do it. So all the things like that we, we deliver 3,000 babies a year in Sarasota Mark. No other hospital in Sarasota delivers babies. We have a neonatal uh, a level three, or one of the highest levels in neonatal in the, the whole country for preemies. Uh, we're a safety net hospital, and our total safety net expenses are $88 million. That would be bad debts, charge offs. We run a clinic. We have a clinic in Sarasota Mark for people who pay absolutely nothing who cannot pay, not able to financially, and they can come in, they get service, they can even have certain operations basically done by retired doctors who volunteer and come in and, and perform that service. So, 88 million jobs is a lot of money. I'd like to uh, thank all the candidates who have spent their time here and also like to thank all the Meadows members who have been here. Uh, the hour is late and uh, uh, all travel safely and have a good evening and thank you.